Anyway, so first, I mean, what, what we have to do is you have to pick the plane at which it's cut. And this is the drawing you'll be producing for Friday. Um, it's not going to be a super official tutorial, but... It's not rehearsed. I don't know if it'll work. Um, so, I mean, first what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll use, use the cut plane command to then figure out where, where you want to cut. So let's say that uh, our drawing, what we'll be doing is, if I can really quickly draw it, so let's say, <laughs> so I mean, what, what we'll try to do is, well, you'll have a plan. Like, Im imagine that this is a plan, right? But then, uh, on, on this side, you'll have a... Uh, just a regular axon. And on this side, you'll have a worm's eye. But the plan will be shared, and it'll, sp it'll be split down the middle. You can also do it this way. Um, to where uh, you... Sp yeah, or or you can do it this way. I mean, which uh, whichever way. This drawing, if if you look closely, the split happens at the section. So it's not actually a vertical split, and that's what makes this drawing super dynamic. Um, quite amazing. So they connected it from two different. Like it's the C and the, they cut one right. vertically and then one one's like at like the angle. Right, but but you can see how this cut is is true for yeah. But then they just merge the how yes. do they choose where they merge? Um because that doesn't happen at the same time. Like cut doesn't happen at the same time. Yes. Yeah, on on that one, yeah. On on this one I think actually this cut is slightly different from this. But, but uh, what what we'll be doing is we'll actually share the same exact cut. Um, so I'll run the intersect command. See if it. But the worm's eye isn't in this one. No, 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 no. First, for first, first we're gonna extract the plan. Um, this is taking too long. Let me do it. More. So. I'm going to copy it over and explode everything. Could you just make the clipping plane and then make the uh, In Rhino 6, probably, yeah. But, well, because uh, I, I want the exact intersection. Um, so. This should run faster. Yeah, I don't think there's... I mean, while well, well, that's running, what we'll do... Um, I'll duplicate the file, and I'll start working on this one. Okay, it worked. Never mind. So, once, once you have the intersection... So, that's the intersection. You can basically go to this view, and then you select this line. So this is your actual intersection. Does that make sense, kind of? So you only want, you don't want like what's below it. You only yeah, want yeah. What's below. Right, the... Uh, you can use that for the whatever. Yes. So and then you can connect it, because uh, I just made my forms very quickly, so the geometry is extremely messy. So then you clean it up as needed. Okay, that should work.
Uh, well, yeah. Um, I don't use the section commander right now. I don't know why. But I use intersect. But section should, yeah, should, should, should do the same thing for you. Um, so now we can. Let me get an intersection here. So let's make a new layer called section. It'll be white. grouped it all. Right. So what is this? Three hatches, three curves. Uh, I never moved it to the later. Um. Okay. So now what we have here is once you know once uh, the the hatch it'll it'll help you start looking at it in um, in wireframe, so you can see that's that's the cut that that we want to split. Um, you can do your regular axon. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks looks terrible. <laughs> uh, let's 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 take our time and actually do um, do a good view. I can't really see what what's going on. Also, did everybody um, download the app? Did anybody try the app? Yes. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. It for Spencer's. For for Spencer's? Really? Spencer's is working. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. It's just like on the wall. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, I saw some of you. I think you posted your files. Uh, a couple of the, uh, some other peeps posted their files too. Um, I'll process them tonight, I think. And uh, now that now that Apple approved the app, as I update the server, it'll always reload it. So you can like reload the table. It'll show the new new models. Um, I. Yeah, well, last year when I was doing it, I tried to find a solution for that, and I ended up writing my own app. So that's, I mean, maybe now, a year later, there are. Um, for me, it was like, roll my own thing and get it to work. Uh, and what? To code for iPhone? For iPhone, yes. I mean, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Apple uses Xcode as their IDE development environment uh, for Android I think you can use anything like because Java is cross-platform that's what Android runs on so Java's like ugh. Yeah. yeah I mean Apple is also kind of gross but um, yeah Apple also changed their language recently um, so like coding is not so fun for me anymore but, so let's rotate it by 30 degrees And then we'll shear by negative 30. I rotated by negative 30. Um, shear it. Let's see what this looks like now. Uh, I, sh I feel like I sheared it in the wrong view. Let me let me see here. So this is our front view. That's correct. It's rotated, and I just oh, this is my top for some reason. It said right when you were doing it. Though. Oh, it did? It had like two right views. Uh, yeah, now it's Yeah, I th I thought that's how I did it, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe we do negative forty-five. Maybe I just oh, okay yeah I was I just wasn't really seeing it. Um. Oh, 
also patterns um, please add your patterns so I mean w work on like having relief moments in your models uh, use patterns uh, from both tutorials please so I think this is uh, more or less acceptable it's a really like big shear at 45 but I think we should just go with it. Um, so what we'll do now uh, is we'll make 2D. Uh, so I'm not going to do hidden lines, but you can if you'd like. Uh, make 2D. While it's running, also, I think Spencer, you emailed me uh, about the Python script. Do you get it to run? No? Okay. No. Well, yeah, like where it moves your stuff to, to the right layers automatically. Um, but it just relies on. Uh, yeah, on a. Because I got it to work, but. So then your plan. Uh, your plan shouldn't be affected. So then you can copy your plan over. So here you have your plan. But then basically what uh, what we need to do now is uh, we have to make a worm's eye view with the same plan. You can have it connected to that. So. Right. So to where the crochet happens. To where, yes, to where the crochet happens. Um, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll select this guy. We used 45, I think. So then instead of top, I don't know if there's actually, if Rhino comes with a bottom view, it should. So you can see that the plan is the same. Um, so, well, of course it's the same, right? Because we're we're looking at it mirrored. Um, so. So again, you shared 45. Um, make 2D. And these are axons, by the way. They're not ISOs. I th they said ISO. I know. I, th I yeah, because axon you have a little bit more control. So I think we should we should do axons. Because you guys did a ISOs last time. Cell last. <laughs> um, this is pretty tough now. That was the hard part, <laughs> is actually matching it. So this is the bottom view. And what happens if you know? Oh 
Uh, let me make to do this as well. It would be flipped, yeah. It's a very good question. I mean, that's, yeah, that's what we have to figure out. Um, yes. Yes. Right. Right, right. Well, so the, the, the plan is to... To, to cut it down the middle, basically, and then match up the two plans. No, 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 yeah, and then we'll we'll be trimming it after. Um, so it shares one wall, so you can use the one outside wall. Okay, hold, hold on. Um, let me try and just match up this. So this is the vertical. So this is this. So this point is should be there. Um, So I think I think that's somewhat accurate. Um, let me just take this distance. Yeah, it's it's in the right place. So these are our two views now. Um, you can go to top view. And I mean, we, we could match it up like this. Um, so say this, this guy. We... So I'm duplicating the border um, of the hatch, and then we'll just cut it here. So um, what what we'll do is we'll actually use curved boolean, which should be faster. So and then we we used this location in the drawing for the split. So, what we'll do is, we'll lock this guy, we'll take this guy at the same location, this is where we match it up. The drawing is really like not very descript whatsoever, um, so what, what I'll do is I'll actually probably end up rendering it. I'll cut the hatch for now. Is any of this making sense? Just follow the tutorial step, but no. Um, it's not making any sense to me either. Um, 
No, no, but uh, it's it's a very fun drawing. Um, but we're we're doing the most basic version. You can get pretty cool. Shit. Okay. I didn't realize that there were multiple hatches. So. So I want to make sure that all I have in here is just these guys. So you see that we're using that cut. Um, okay. So this is going to be our blue. This is our bottom. But it's also, it's nice to see like a variety. Right. Um, then we bring the hatches back in. Um, we'll uh, lock everything else except for the hatches. Invert lock. Then we put it there. Duplicate the border. And this is the same. Uh oh, Connor's asleep. <laughs> I'm boring, I'm sorry. Uh, no, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, been there. Recently, too, actually. Um, Technically, if you're taking micro naps, you're, you haven't been awake for 20 hours. Uh, your body, like, starts to... Yeah, I mean, take care of the brain a little bit by making you sleep. And so you're like constantly sleeping and you're never really awake. It's interesting. Then I mean, you can't remember anything after you grow up. Um, so I'll select the hatches, delete the curves. Okay. So we did it. I'm so happy. Uh, it worked. So. Do you see what, what is going on in here? So it's... Top and bottom cut in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yes, so it's the top and the bottom cut in the same place. Um, another thing you could do is, in your model actually, um, I just thought of this. I don't know why it didn't occur to me sooner. If you want the drawing to be a little bit more legible, um, and again, you, you have to experiment and, and figure out what works. But uh, I mean, if okay, let's let's just look look at the let's let's look at this thing. So you could split and rotate from two Split, rotate, and two. Well, I was thinking of just working with the three D model. Oh, okay. You could yeah. instead of doing it in the drawing, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Because um, yeah, I, what 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 you'll see is basically you can see the white cut here, and this is an axon projection of this, so it's not going to correspond to 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 just the, the regular projection view, but um, you can see that half of this, half of the model, is representative there, and you illustrate the cut, whereas half of the model is here. But you're looking at it from the same plan cut, but you're looking at the bottom, so. So is this making... No. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Um, so this, this I think is actually mirrored. And then mirrored. That's, that's what this is. So... 
<laughs> I think we just confused ourselves. So, but ba uh, basically, it's one part this drawing and one part this drawing. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes, the hatch is a plant cut. You could do the same thing, but in section. If you want. So you, yeah. it, it could be yeah, a it could be a section like axon. One of the you here, and then you have to walk it's as far as you want to bend your mind. I mean, the plan cut is like literally the the the, uh, the simplest way of, of doing it. It's not the spoon that bends; it's only your mind, um, anyway. With the I cheesy jokes. Nobody like gets the Matrix um, references kind of like since we're in a digital class. Maybe it's too kitschy. Huh? I haven't watched that movie in a long time. Yes. Um, but so if you need a plan cut, it just shows where it gets cut. Right? Yes. So it keep, preserves the model. But right, right. So this, to your point, and uh, this is where I was going earlier. What you could also do is is do the same thing. Actually, let's let's do this. I have an idea. Great idea. Um, and we still have 30 minutes, so I can torture you guys uh, a little bit longer. Um, so let's let's see here. Got me there. Um, it's gonna be a little harder. Hurts. It hurts. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I did not finish the stairs because I didn't do do my own homework. Um, so it's basically, it's almost like you're casting this huge But then again, guys, please go easy on me. Um, I don't think many of your other teachers do their own homework. So, let's see. So I think this is the intersection where it all happens. That's where the split occurs in the model, so what I want to do is just match it up. Hold on. Yeah. What do you guys think of the class so far? I ask that a lot. I want you guys to be happy generally. Um, there's that. But. Me too. <laughs> and I try to hide. Yeah, I try to hide it behind the. Uh, yeah, I mean, I th I think the there's a a foundational issue with that, because what you guys did with the letters was extrude them, and it's not going to. Uh oh, somebody had enough. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah. I think the geometry o across the board needs development, and I mean that's that's what I was looking at here. I tried to take elements of my model, and like during the course of the last tutorial, I smashed something together, uh, which has you know more kind of volumetric articulated sort of relationship. Um, I know like Richard is also doing his own homework, so he's uh, he's been developing a model that. Uh, we're going to be testing some of the production tools for, for fabrication on. And he's also had trouble with that. Um, so. Yes. Okay, okay. S Say that again. So, uh, so this one yes. right here. Okay. Do you know how like 
These are both like mm -hmm. at the same level, so they're both kind of looking up. Yeah. So like, this looking like, up? This is no. This is a flip ceiling plan. This one's a plan, so this one's sort of like going up, it's like going down. Oh, you want to go down? It'll be like this, it'll be like kind of offset. It'll be like empty here. This one's going to move up a little bit, this one moves down a little bit. It'll be a little more legible. I mean, it'll be more distinct. I think I see what you see. saying. Yeah, but yeah. well, yeah. well, yeah. well, yeah. I don't know if this drone's already doing it, because technically, you're looking at the interior space here. Yeah. Never mind this, because technically this is a planned project. Yeah. So next, what we'll do is we'll render a shadow, which only fills this area. And then this will be shadowed going up. So it'll be going up and going down, actually. Oh, okay. okay. I think. That's what it is. Okay. But, but they do match up. But, I mean, you were saying, like, in what I understood was also doing a shift. I mean, yeah, that, that can be very interesting, I think. So yes, I mean, use the same technique, but, but do it in your own way. Um, but so, what, what we'll do now is we'll quickly render, render this thing out. Um, also, has anybody uh, done the patterning tutorial or watched it? You tried to? Too boring. Do you? The one that you did half of and then yeah, and then Sona did. Okay. So now we have to trim. Trim, trim, trim. Trim, trim, trim. So what we'll do is we'll trim everything here. This will run for forever. Because it has to intersect every single thing and trim it away. We can browse the internet in the meantime with the drawings. Yeah, I, I think, to, to your point, this drawing is actually a complete composite of... So, the plans don't actually align. Yeah, they don't. That's yeah. why it's confusing. <laughs> they just like put it in there. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, th I think composites are fine also. Uh, but, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make that much sense. Okay, it I mean, really where where this drawing is true, I think. I think it's true here and here. I think in, in this moment it is true. I think it truly is an oblique of this. And then this truly is an isometric, except it's not split in plan, you're splitting it like this. So, you, so your split line is this way. I mean, it's, it's, your split line's right there, actually. D do you guys know what this is? No? Uh, it's a little guy. It's amazing. I mean, the the most amazing, and I, I haven't been to Rome, unfortunately, but it's it's in this courtyard. It's by Bramante, but it's it's a very interesting condition because uh, it's it's a very tight fitting of of the actual uh, yeah of the actual chapel. And surrenders. Did it crash? Okay, no. This is the copy that we don't need. My fans are turning on. Okay. But yeah, there it is. So I mean, you you can kind of imagine the procession, how this opens up, and then you can see. Um, this very well proportioned small structure inside okay so we need to trim a couple more things uh, 
Okay, so you you can sort of start seeing now. what we're going for. <coughs> I think we're cutting fairly cleanly. Am I missing anything? So you need to trim the, the bottom of the worm's eye? Too? Well, yeah, I haven't gone to the oh, worm's eye yet. Um, unfortunately, yeah. So now, now we need to trim this. I'm actually like really surprised by how easily you guys are able to grasp all of this stuff. Um, because I think if I was sitting in, uh, basically in your shoes, I, <laughs> I don't know in second year if I'd be able to, to kind of comprehend half of this. But I think it's good. Also, did you guys go to Jennifer Bonner's lecture? Did you guys like it? I think it was pretty cool. I mean, it's amazing. I really hope she sells the house because she financed it herself. It's a really big risk. I'd buy it. You'd buy it, yes. So it hasn't been purchased. Yeah, yeah, she's Airbnb being it. Yeah, I saw that too. Um, well, yeah. So I thought it was purchased and then they actually sold it again, but it has never been purchased. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, she just built it. Um, so she got the wood from Austria. Also, I couldn't believe like how those mitered edges came together, the CLT. Like, I mean, CLT historically has been like a really cheap construction. Like uh, in, in Russia, I mean, they, they build country houses out of it and it's like really ugly. I mean, it's so seeing her use it in a very I mean, articulated way was, I mean, really brilliant because you take a really cheap construction methodology that's not being used in the US and you use it to accomplish something that with stick framing would be very difficult to do. Uh, you'd have to have moment connections everywhere, which would be way too expensive. Um, so, I mean, the, there's a lot of layers to the project. I mean, besides all of the graphics, which are also brilliant. Um, but it costs them over 100000 just for the CLT. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole house probably costed 600000 I would assume 650 to build. Uh, not on, yeah, I, but land in Atlanta, I assume it's cheap. You know. Maybe land was what, like, yeah, maybe another 90,000, best case. I mean, it's not a lot of land, it's like a very tight lot. Um, but, I mean, I'm just speculating, I have no idea. Not not authorized to... I think she said to what? I think she said the numbers for the wood, yes, 124,000 for the wood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's all the other costs, because the the foundation, for example, she had a concrete foundation, obviously, that's a hundred thousand. Um, you know, so it, it'll add up quickly. I think the labor is extremely expensive. Cranes like a couple thousand a day. I mean, so the bank, you know, they want their interest. So uh, anyway, we're going way off target. So. Let's, in case I screw this up, let me copy it. Parallel universe. Let's see. Make a plane. That didn't work. I don't know which one's easier to mess up. This way or the other way. Or, or, or with the drawing, yeah. So, I mean, now we have a plane. Uh, we'll set one reference point, and now what we'll try to do is try to select everything neatly. Oh really, it's grouped? Ah, uh, this is tricky. The surface needs to be split. Okay, I group this. And I group this. So now we know that uh, we want to be looking at it. So I know that we need to rotate it around, around this.
So we need to rotate it around this axis. We have to mirror it. No, I'm totally off. Let me see. They're just sheared in two different directions. It is correct, actually. Um, so this is correct, I think. Is this in the right place? Can't tell. Barely. Okay. So now. There's little pieces that went above. Right, right. Yes. So now we just sheared in two different directions. How's that for a plan? I think it should work. That looks the part, right? No, you have the push there. Yes. Oh, but uh, sh shearing the poche, shearing something in plan, it, it's uh, if it's at the zero, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect it. And this one, I think I shear in this way, so negative forty-five for this guy. Guys, we did it! <laughs> so so excited, so excited for us. Anyway, let's let's render it out. Let me save it. Good idea. Um, render it. I don't know where the thing is. So. Actually, let's. Are you sure you want to abort rendering? Yes, please. Well, let me show you guys a couple of the settings uh, for rendering. Draft quality, good quality. Uh, backdrop, transparent background is very important. Ground plane, no ground plane. Unless you guys, yes. So the, the thing with DPI is dots per inch. That's what it stands for. DPI does not matter whatsoever on a computer screen. The only thing that matters is your resolution. So your, your DPI is a factor of how big your image is in terms of the raster matrix, the pixels. So you, let's say your, your thing's like 3,000 wide. 3,000 wide is a good, good rendering size. Uh, might take a while. Uh, and then it's a factor of how dense, like how small you print it. So if you print it small, then it's going to be high DPI. Uh, most printers are usually 300. So if you do, if you work at 350 DPI to the true scale that you're printing on, it'll let you know how big of an image you actually have to render. Um, so uh, in, in essence, if you adjust the DPI, you aren't actually changing anything. You only change it by changing the, the the size of the actual image. So DPI is just how densely the the image is printed. That's it. Uh, some my plotter can do 1,200, so it says. Uh, in reality, it's like 600. Um, but yeah. So 600 DPI, yes. But I don't recommend working in 600. I think it's I think it's too much. So. But yes. So let's do. Um, so if if we use these settings, we'll effectively render it without a. Um, uh, we'll render it without the background, so it'll be transparent. Hopefully, this will take a while. Maybe two minutes, I say. So six minutes remaining, Ooh, five. And then later on, we'll teach you guys how to use V-Ray so that you're not you're actually working with a with a decent rendering engine. But in the meantime, I can uh, can I work? Yes. I'll actually take the drawing that we made. This is the copy. 
I'm just gonna let you work on it while it's coming out. Really? Because V Ray lets me do that. But Rhino doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah. Maybe you're completely correct. Oh god, really? That's a bummer. Okay, well it's almost done. Oh, you can see that all of my surfaces are open. You don't want to have that, you want to have closed surfaces. But we'll cover them up with the hatch anyway. It'll be good. Um, Forty six minutes, jeez. Would you guys prefer that I try and edit out some of the make it shorter? Or post it sooner. Those are the two options. I can either edit it out, make it shorter, or post it sooner. I'm afraid that if I try and edit it, I'll I'll get this tutorial to you guys tomorrow and that'll be too late. Um, I think I'll I'll post it the way it is, yeah. Or you could just find where you did it this method and just cut it. Or just post it. Oh, you're you're only interested in the uh, in the in the model one. I don't know. Well, yeah. Because this we can do the render of and the drawing. Yes, we could. The other one will just get us. Not for me. Uh, if you have decent internet, <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, the video files are like uh, uncompressed. I mean, when I did one of the tutorials, I had a 500 gigabyte file. Um, so if you have good storage, you can afford yourself 500 gigabyte files. Because uh, the quality wasn't coming out of Camtasia very, very well. Like the codec, I think, wasn't too good. So then I got Camtasia 2019, it's a little bit better. Uh, then now I can export compressed videos. But then I would re-encode it in Premiere Pro. Then it would give me a file like a gig and a half, then that's what I would upload. But video codecs, I mean, they're like magic. Uh, amazing. So you want to save as. And you do a PNG. So this is actually important if you want to have transparency for the background. Uh, so textured render. Okay, good. So then we, we can go back to our drawing. Then what we'll do is this guy. scale to, f to fit, because um, I don't know what scale I'm working at. Please know what scale you're working at. Um, because the thing with an axon is that it's actually two scale. Um, but I think it's roughly, yeah, we'll export it to scale anyway, so. So th this this is model. So if we're doing like what half inch to one inch, and also the mistake came from because I copied <coughs> the template from Sona, all of Sona's. Uh, yeah, and I didn't catch that. So thanks for catching that. Christian caught the fact that our uh, thing was backwards. But I think Rhino's Rhino's demand also Rhino's window might be backwards as well. I'm not sure. We'll see. No, I think it's correct. Maybe. So if we take the size of this thing, it's what? Uh, also, for points, you set it to inches. 26, yeah, it's about twice as big, so that's correct. Um, you can make your artboard at center. So we'll actually do 36 by 36. Your drawing will actually be 11 by 11, so just disregard this. So I'll actually
I want to move the hatch onto a single layer. Let's actually keep him black for now while we're working. We'll use black for 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 both of the sides, however. And and please use color and actually maybe we do black and blue like always. No, it has to be black because then we have the texture. So then you bring in the, the texture. Oh, actually, let's trim it first, however. So we save time in bringing it in. Sorry, clicking a few random buttons. What do you mean by trim? Just, just tr trim the excess. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Um, So I'll actually set this to. I want to render it again. Mm. Auto save is running. So this is a material less render, so I'll just render it like this. I'll save it. Let it run. Then while we're working in Photoshop, you eat trim. Sorry, image trim. It'll crop it really tight. And then it's a lot easier to to scale it. So then when we bring in the this guy into here, it's you know it's now now you can scale it easily. So you can grab the dimension from this. You can see it's 18.41 wide. You can take this guy. Make sure yes. So that's the right size now. Um, quality is pretty terrible, but we tried to save time on rendering. So now you can basically see what uh, what we're looking at. You're looking at the interior space from the top view of the plan cut here, and then you're looking at the uh, at the bottom cut here. For our drawing, do you want us to not have the, it showing the rest of the drawing? What, what, what do you mean? See how on the the ones I view, they still it's still showing what's below and above. Uh, I think I think it's better too. I think it's more interesting. I mean, I don't know. Um, again, like this is a drawing that I spent five seconds on, so please make these nice. This is not a nice drawing as it is right now. Um, let's see what this gives us. Also, the the hat should probably be. Your hatch can be blue. It can be white. Let's try white. Yeah, white's pretty nice. Well, yeah. I mean, w we need to start working with the background and everything. Everything that I've showed you in the in the previous times. Let's try blue. It's a little bit more fun. Maybe these actually do have to be different. Okay, let me put a regular... Maybe. Let's see what we have here from the from this rendering. So then we do the same thing to... 
But I do want to see you guys having materials at this point. Photoshop again, here it is. The same thing, we trim it. So then we can actually duplicate this render. We'll duplicate the render. Say this linked file. We'll relink it to blank render. And then we'll use this as shadows. We'll set a multiply pass on it. Nah, that doesn't do too much. It does a little bit. we can adjust the you can bring your shadows in this way a little bit more so if you do a material render it doesn't have shadows if what no Why no oh you just, just to save time oh just just a little bit more no no the the material render does but uh, not enough um, i feel and then you can also trace these. It should have updated. Yeah, let's try doing it a little bit more. Okay, here it is. So you can see it got darker. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, something like this. But, yeah, so. I showed you at least the basic techniques of constructing the drawing. Now it's up to you. So that you make it uh, make it nice. So please use use your textures, use your patterns, use all of the techniques that we've discussed before, like projecting draw. I mean line work, um, extracting additional information, etc. How long do you, does the texture map not really take to do well? To do well? Don't ask me because I didn't do it well. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, a while, I'd say. So we, we should do that before we start? This. Yeah, yeah. Please texture map your models first. Spend, okay, spend three hours texture mapping. But work quickly, efficiently, diligently. Like, I mean, you know, I, I, I think the trick is, is it's not to sit around and and make very few decisions over a very long span of time. Um, it's to move extremely quickly. It doesn't matter where you're going, just make decisions, work quickly. I mean, it's a digital class, you know. It, you're, you, this, this isn't for the Pritzker, it's about giving you guys the, the skill set so that you can, you can use the tools that you can, I mean, think abstract a little bit, hopefully. Um, so that's, I mean, that's that's the point of this class, to push your representation that hopefully then gets fed back into studio so that you can produce very nice drawings for studio. Um, versus plan section elevation, it gets a little bit boring. So. Yes, I mean, your stairs should be cut as part of this model. And in fact, your stairs should be the figural element that you're cutting. Um, so, at, you, you should be making this cut and the split ideally at the stairs. What if my stairs are like on the side of my, um, like, or at least they're mainly on the like one side of it? Uh, I mean, if, if you're doing a, a plan cut, you're going to cut through the stairs. Okay. So if you're doing this, you'll for sure cut through the stairs. If you're doing a suction cut, I mean... I w kind of wish that we did did the section. Um, yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. Hope this helps. I'll post the video right now. Send you guys a blackboard. So what's to do on Friday? 
What's due on Friday is this drawing and your stairs.